I had one coming. <laughs> that one won't be in the video. <laughs> oh, excuse me. But anyways, that was bad. Hi, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm almost, well, I can hear the baby. Mm -hmm. I hear Mr. Brown. He's pretty loud. Can you hear him? I probably can. <laughs> he's, he's chirping away. I walked past him, and when I walk past him, he sometimes starts and says, Hey, you forgot to talk to me, or you forgot to take me. I've been holding it a lot, holding Mr. Brown a lot, and I took him outside to his chicken school twice today. He was not crazy about it. He didn't run over to the little hen. I also had someone, some comments about whose baby was he? You know, I'm, I was trying to figure that out. I know that it was put under his, put under whatever hen, I don't remember which hen, on the 13th of August. No, this is August. First July. July. <laughs> we're in we're in losing That's our right, month. Yeah, nice. yeah. It was in July, the thirteenth of July. Because he was born August first. But I wasn't sure just how many days he was under that hen, so when those babies hatched, I can't remember which babies it was, I put the egg under another hen, but I can't remember which hen I put it under. And I thought, I better not put it there because if this egg hatches before the eggs that they're sitting on, they'll abandon those eggs. And then I would have those eggs that would be almost to term and that would cause me more commotion. So I thought, well, I'll just see if this egg will hatch and I put it in my pretend incubator that I made. The homemade one, it wasn't really pretend, it was no, a real, it's a, homemade, inc it's a but... homemade incubator, and but I didn't know whether it would work or not because I had never hatched anything out of it. And when the egg hatched, I was really surprised. Today, I'm supposed to do a Zoom, Zoom talk, I don't even, Zoom with chat um, or... Zoom chat, yeah, with my, my niece. And um, this ought to be interesting because I don't know how to do it. I have had Zoom um, on for my granddaughter but they knew the code for that because she had to do gymnastics and they sent a code. So I don't know if, if I just click on the link or what will happen. I will find out. And if I can't get in, then I'll just give my sister a call and say, I can't get in. And see what they, you know, because there is a number I can call and just be on the phone, I guess, to do it. I don't know. But I'm going to try it. And today I got a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> from from the people that call me. They call me at least once a day, sometimes twice a day, and they say that I have a refund for my electric and my gas. And so usually I've been just kind of hanging up and figure, eh, the heck with it. But I thought the last few times it was kind of, I would just play along. So um, the first time that they called, I, I had asked, you know, I says, gee, I don't, I don't get a refund. And, oh, yes, ma'am, you get a refund. Can you get your phone bill? And I said, I don't have a, or my, not my phone bill, my electric bill. I said, I don't have an electric bill, and they hung up on me. Um, then another one, I, they called, and they wanted to know if I was the one that paid the bill at the resident that they're calling. And I said, I don't live here. I live in California. And they said, oh, then we'll have to call back in about a half an hour. And they never called back. Then I got a call today. <laughs> this one is really funny. I, um, my sister was here, and I put it on speakerphone. And the guy says, I'm calling you because you're a senior citizen and you have a refund coming on your gas and electric. And I said to him, what makes you think, I think I'm a senior citizen? I'm not a senior citizen. And he says, oh, can you get your, your electric bill? And I said, but I'm not a senior citizen. He says, oh, that doesn't matter, ma'am. Just get your electric bill. And I said, I don't have an electric bill. And he, he goes, you don't? And I go, no, I, I have light, I use candles. And he goes, good joke. And I said, I thought it was pretty good. I says, I'm Amish and I don't have an electric bill. In fact, I don't even have a phone. I'm at the community phone that's at the corner of the driveway. And he hung up on me. <laughs> so now the next time that I get a phone call from this person, 
or these this group group, the group they're group they're always somebody different that's calling. I have asked them to take me off, and then they'll call me back the same day, and they just they don't listen. They just keep trying. But this next time, I'm going to tell them I'm off grid, and I I I have only solar electricity, so I don't have an electric bill. I'm sorry. And then they'll tell me you have a gas bill. I said, no, I don't have a gas bill because I have a gas well. <laughs> so they're going to be hanging up on me again, I'm sure. Well, that is my excitement of the day. I have to go because I think the Zoom call is supposed to be at 7 o'clock and I'm late making this video. So I will talk to you all again tomorrow and I'll let you know how that Zoom call went. I'll talk to you then. Bye-bye.